Hey, I'm Keith with Intech, and I am here to show you today our all new Soul Eclipse. So, we've had an Eclipse model in the past in our Soul lineup, but for 2024, it's been completely remodeled and redesigned, and we're excited to show you that here today. But first off, let's go ahead and talk about our construction, because that's what really sets an Intech apart from any other product you'll see out there on the market today. All right, so here I am standing inside the frame of the new 2024 Eclipse. And just like all of our other products, this is a fully welded aluminum cage construction. So we build this base frame in-house, weld it completely together, then build this cage, it's all welded down to the top. So this is one solid structure. Going down the road, you have incredible strength in this design. Also it helps all of your interior cabinetry and all the components that are connected to the wall, give them additional strength versus a traditional RV build where a wall is gonna be simply be stapled or screwed down to the floor and same with your ceiling, roof material, it'll all be stapled and screwed together. This gives you way, way more strength and rigidity. This unit here is gonna be 19 foot long in overall length, and it's only gonna weigh in at about 3,500 pounds in total weight. So giving you a lot of capacity with a 4,800 pound axle, so you have a net carrying capacity of roughly 1,200 pounds. All right, so back out here on the Eclipse itself, you're gonna see it's gonna feature our same great tilt forward design that you've noticed on all of our Luna, Soul, and Terra products. This gives you that beautiful front windshield and a great shape to the overall unit. The Soul Eclipse is gonna be all fiberglass exterior, so obviously your front cap, but then also your sidewalls, and you're gonna have a one-piece roof that's gonna start here from the cap and go all the way back to the bumper without a seam on it. Coming down the side of the Eclipse, you're gonna see we're gonna have our 10-foot power awning on board. This is an optional piece. It's uh, simply a touch of a button, then it has two legs that come down to support it. All right, coming further back, you're gonna see this one has what we call our Rover package. What the Rover package does is it gives you a little different decal set, but it ultimately is gonna give you more ground clearance. So this will have a taller sitting axle on it. It's also gonna have a larger tire on board, so it's gonna give you about three inches of additional ground clearance versus our standard base model. Back here, you're gonna see a storage compartment to the exterior. And then directly behind, it's another storage compartment. But the reason we separate these two is you can option in a slide out kitchen now on the Eclipse. And that's new for this 2024 model. Uh, previously, there wasn't room in the back for a slide out kitchen. This just simply presses down, pulls out. Now you have a cooktop. This comes with a cast iron griddle that goes on top. And then you have your 12 volt refrigerator right next to it. All right, coming around the back side of the unit, you'll see here you're gonna have a bumper on the back end. This is also part of your Rover package. Directly below that's gonna be a two inch receiver. That'll be rated at 175 pounds. So it'll be able to handle even your heavier electric bikes and heavier bike racks. Um, up above, here's a little window looking out from the bedroom area, but then you're gonna see a uh, backup camera prep and that's for a Magnadyne camera. You simply unscrew that plate and the wires are right there for you. If you want to add the camera, you can go to our Intech Marketplace and purchase it there. All right, over here on the roadside of the unit, you're going to have your water heater door. This will have an on-demand water heater system. This will be your power plug-in location. Here you'll have your coax, and what this is, is if you had a satellite or cable available to you at the campsite, you could plug in here, and this is going to feed directly to your TVs. And then down below, this is a solar port. So these wires are going straight to the battery. If you had a briefcase set up, you could plug in, and this would then charge your battery. Now the unit we're looking at also comes with our off-grid solar package. And that package, when you option it in, gives you 300 watts of solar on the roof. And those are feeding down through a 30 amp uh, charge controller. And then you have 200 amp hours of batteries and a 2000 watt inverter. So a nice big beefy system. It's actually able to run this entire unit, including your air conditioner and microwave that are on board. Further back here, you'll see we're gonna have a sewer hose holder. Um, as we move a little further forward, this is gonna be your waste drain. So this unit right here has a 26 gallon black gray combo tank that can be drained from right here. And a little further up, this is gonna be your furnace vent. Uh, this unit has a 16,000 BTU LP furnace on board. All right, here on the front end of the Eclipse, again, you're gonna see the big, beautiful windshield that we're known for on this product. Great look from the outside, but once we get inside, that's where you really get the nice view out from. Um, one thing you'll see around this is you're gonna see some snaps and a little rail across the top. We equipped all these standard with a windshield cover. So while you're driving down the road, you can put that cover on. You don't have to worry about rocks coming up and creating a chip in the windshield. But that is a good point. This is an actual car windshield. So this is a three ply laminated piece of glass. So it is designed to be on the front end of this trailer as you're towing down the road. Directly below, you'll see this is gonna be your LP tank storage. So it comes standard with a single tank, but you can option in a second. 
This is a nice look, it seals it all in. You're not looking at those tanks on the front tongue. Right in front of that, this is part of your Rover package again. This is gonna be a stung tongue storage rack. So it'll have a little hook points on the sides. So you could take something like a storage bin or generator if you liked and attach it right there on the front. And then we've also optioned in the power tongue jack on this one. The sole product comes standard with a manual jack, but you can option in the power if you like. So that's a look at the exterior, but let's jump inside and see the new features for 2024. All right, so right away up here at the front, you're gonna notice this massive kitchen. Now in the previous Eclipse model, we did have a kitchen up in the front, but we kind of redesigned it based on feedback we've heard from our customers. Um, one thing that's different is used to be up here in the front, we had a refrigerator off to the side and that kind of broke up the counter space. So while it was a large kitchen, the counter space wasn't all as usable. The other thing was there wasn't a lot of storage in the front end. So also with removing the refrigerator over here, we were add, able to add a bank of three drawers across the side, and then you still maintain your storage down below and your upper, upper cubby storage is across the top. This will feature our two burner LP cooktop. You'll have a microwave directly below that, and then a nice large farmhouse sink beside. One neat thing we're able to do with this setup though is over on the side with some of the empty space underneath the countertop, we were able to put in a little trash can holder. So now you got a nice convenient spot for a trash can that's built right into your countertop. Now with us removing the fridge from the front kitchen area, we brought it back here right behind the entry door. So you have a nice amount of space to open this up and access it. Another great thing, similar to a lot of the Class B vans, you can actually get to this fridge when the door's open from the outside. Directly above the fridge, We've added a nice little wardrobe storage. So you have two doors that open up here with a hanging rod across the top. And then you have some outlets and controls down below. All right, over here, you're gonna have our wet bath. Now this features the same great wet bath we have in all of our sole products, which has a very large floor pan, pan in it. And you also have a lot of head height. So it's about six foot, one inch in total height, plenty of room to move around and use this space. Um, you're also gonna see we use our exterior door here. Now this door, what it does is it seals off completely and eliminates the need for a shower curtain, which can be kind of a frustrating piece inside a smaller wet bath area. The bedroom area is another really nice improvement to the 2024 Eclipse. Now, instead of having just that small U-shaped dinette we used to have in the back, these are two large twin beds, similar to what we're doing in our dusk. Then when you have them set up in this direction, you'll have vinyl on one side so it can be used as a dinette, plenty of room to get three people down each side of them. And then if you flip them over, they're gonna have a fabric on the bottom side that's gonna be bedding material. So you can flip these over and use them to sleep in the evenings. And then if you want an additional sleeping space, there's two filler cushions that store right directly below my legs here. If you pull those out, these back cushions then fall in place and you can make this into a king size bed or really an oversized king, it'd be 80 by 80 inches. We're also featuring the lagoon table here in the back end. And what's great about this table setup, since you're using this as your dinette and your bed area, this table simply just slides in and out of your way so you can easily sit down. But if you want to transform the into the bed, you can move this table back here where it's completely out of your way. You don't have to remove the table. You could still flip over your cushions and have your twin bed set up. Now, if you want to do the king with a filler, you would find yourself just simply twisting this knob here, pulling off the table, and now you can set up your king size bed. All right, so the Soul Eclipse is going to come standard with a 32-inch flat screen smart TV. So it'll have all your apps and everything already on it for you. You'll also have a four-speaker sound system. The speakers are also wired into your TV, so all your sound from your TV can go through the, through the speaker system. And the system has zones on it, so you can turn on the back two speakers here if you like and turn off the front ones or vice versa. All an option for you there. For comfort, you're going to have a 15,000 BTU soft start AC. You have your thermostat located right here. One great thing, we switched the soft start and that allows you to actually run this off a small generator or off of our off-grid lithium system we were talking about earlier. So soft start eliminates that hard spike and allows the inverter or generator to handle that power. For heat, you're gonna have the 16,000 BTU furnace and that'll also run through your thermostat right here. And then if you look overhead, if you're in a spot where maybe you don't have enough power or you're not able to plug in, and you don't want to eat up the batteries, we do have a nice large 12 volt max air fan. This has the large blade on it with four speed settings and a rain sensor on board. So if it was raining outside, that would automatically close off so you couldn't get any rain inside the unit. So that's a look at our all new 2024 Soul Eclipse. If you want to see additional details, you can jump on our website at intech.com or you can visit our dealer locator and find your closest dealer for availability and pricing.